All right, today's a great day because you get to practice everything on Excel. So I'm hoping that after today, not only will you know how to do probability on Excel, but you will also um, have a better kind of deeper understanding and feel really comfortable with all the concept that we have done this year so far. So one thing I want to ask for you today is that you really try to do all these problems. But the second thing is that you really work together. So work with the people in your row, talk to the people around you, help each other out if someone looks stuck, help them out. If you're not sure, ask somebody. Um, working together, I think you can really get through these. So I'm going to quickly show you a couple things that might be helpful for you, and um, then you can get started. So first thing I want to show you is how to deal with permutations and combinations on Excel. So if I had a question like this, for example, um, how many ways can you make a group of three classrooms? That's a combination. So I'm just going to type in equals comb, and there it is. And then I just type in how many are in my group total, 20, comma, and then what I'm selecting, three, and just there it is, and um, there's my answer, super simple. In some ways, I find this easier than a calculator. For permutation, so I've got 10 runners, and I want to know who's going to come in first, second, and third. So I have distinct places here, so order totally matters in this case. So I'm dealing with a permutation, so equals perm, it pops right up. I'm going 10 out of, and I'm picking three again, and I'm done, and there is my answer. So that's how you do combinations and permutations. On this, I'm going to also be asking you to write your probability statement and come up with an answer. So if you're picking three cards at random, and I want to know the chance of um, not getting any face cards. So that's going to be my probability statement would be P, and that would be like no face. I know it's kind of weird to say that. Um, and no face card, and no face card. Okay. I've done my probability statement. Now I'm going to actually do the math, which is equals. Okay, so the probability of getting a face card is 12. So not getting a face card would be 40 out of 52. That would be the first one. The second card, though, now there's 39 cards that aren't face cards, and there's 51 I'm picking from. And then the third one is going to be 38 out of um, 50. Now. I can already tell this is not going to come out right because I'm missing some key things here. When you're doing multiplication on Excel, it actually will not read it between uh, parentheses. So you actually need to put in those little multiplication symbols between your parentheses for it to come out. Once I've done that, I get my answer. I turn that into a percent. Um, if I want, I can put on two decimals, and there you go. All right, the other kind of problem I'm going to ask you to do is expected value, as well as some other things. Um, but here, for expected value, if I have numbers, let's just focus um, down here. Um, I'm going to just put in my probabilities. For now, I'm just going to make some up, but they're actually in this problem right here. But say, say that's like 0 0.25, uh, 0 0.33 and 0.45. All right, so these are my probabilities. Now, probabilities need to add up to 1, so I'm going to check and make sure they do. So I'm going to sum. Uh, sum, that tells it just to add everything up. I highlight what I want to add up, and I do not get 1. It's 3 over, so must, these must be wrong. If I check my work, this probably should have been 0.3, and boom, now it's 1. Okay, I'm good there. Um, I'm just going to multiply this straight across, so it equals this times that. Sweet. Um, I'll just autofill this down, and then to actually find the summation, it's just equal sum, again, add all these up, part of this expected value problem, and now I actually have my expected value right here. Now I can check my answers, so I put the answers here, so as you go for each problem, you can come along here and um, check and make sure you have them correct. They, all the answers are up here for you, uh, so you can see what you're doing. I hope this is helpful. Enjoy the assignment.